Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We're here in downtown Los Angeles yeah. in the Arts District. Yes, this is very up and coming here in downtown LA. Mm -hmm. They have so many places just within a, a mile radius of here. Right. Tons of breweries, eateries, and everything. Yeah, we are here at Prince Street Pizza. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of our favorite square pies. Mm -hmm. uh, came from New York City. It did. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have one other location that we highlighted in the video in Hollywood, in Hollywood. area. Yep. But that was like over two years ago. Yep. And we just found out when we went to um, mm -hmm. Lily Mays uh, over there in Venice that right next to Lily Mays, it's not open yet though. They have another Prince Street that's going to be open. Yeah, up. Prince Street pizzas mm -hmm. are popping up here on the West Coast. It is. It is. And this happens to be right next door to Prince Street is Sutton Star. Yeah, yeah, that's one of my favorite ice cream places. Yeah, let's go check out in the ice district. Yes, yeah, so well, we're going to get some pizza first. Yeah, let's go get our pie. We got some slices. We did. We were planning to get a whole pie, but we wanted to, they had so many different selections. We were going to get a few slices instead. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. look at that. So we got the vodka one. Yes. We got a spicy spring. Which is their pepperoni, uh, their roni cups. Yep, right? that's the one they're known for. Right. And what was this other one? Uh, the smoky. The smoky oaky. Smoky oaky. Yeah, which looks interesting. We're going to see, like, you see, like, a big piece of cheese right here. Right there, here's some spaghetti sauce. You can tell that it doesn't have any meat in that one or this one. Yes. So I can't wait. This smells delicious. I can't wait to try these. It out. does. It does. Ooh. Oh yeah. So this is the spicy vodka. Uh huh. I'm gonna leave the, of course, the roni cup one for him. Oh, thank you. Look at this nice, good, thick bread on that. Crust is done well. Let's go ahead and try this out. Mm -hmm. What comes out first is that crust. That crust is thick looking, but it doesn't taste dense at all. It's very pillowy. And the vodka sauce, not a strong acidic taste to it. That cheese is just perfect on there. And the, um, mm, the, I can taste a little bit of heat. It could be from the vodka sauce. Well, it says it's spicy. Mm. And, you know, for those not familiar with a vodka sauce, it's like tomato sauce and cream mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. First came out with that crunch in the crust. The sauce is perfectly done. Yeah, the temperature not too hot. The temperature is not too hot. That's what I wanted to mention. That the temperature, they, the pizza is already made. And so they put it back in the oven and they warm it up. We can probably put ask them to put it in there if you want a real steaming hot pizza when it comes out. But this one is perfectly eatable temperature. It's not extremely hot at all. Oh, this is really good. The spicy spring. Look at Look this. Look at these little roni cups with the juices in there, little pepperoni juices. Right there, that cup right there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And in fact, this one looks like a little petal flower, right? Mm -hmm. A little little roni rose going mm -hmm. on right there and this is very nice and crispy looking i believe this is a corner piece they have centerpieces that you could ask for but here we go looking forward to this one it's been a couple of years since we have pin street mm. what i like most about the prince street pizza it has the right amount of pepperoni little roni cups and the pizza sauce has a nice, like, tang to it. A tiny bit of heat. I think that's probably why they call it the uh, the spicy. But as you can see, it is pulled. It's like a little a little cup of soup right there. Mm -hmm. I'm glad there's a Prince Street here, close to us. Wow, this is amazing. 
I love this square. The Oaky Smoky. What I remember about the Prince Street when we went to the one on Sunset, when they first opened Long Lines, I remember it was kind of underwhelming. Remember that, baby? Uh -huh. The first time we tried that one in that location. Now, I think they've really stepped up their game. They've been open for a few years now. Not in this location, but at least in California. And that one tastes exactly like the one I got in New York. Right. This one is something different. I haven't tasted this one yet. But what's interesting is, look at that big. You can see that big cheese slice. Yeah, it is. That's there. a big piece mm -hmm. of cheese right there. And I love the, uh, the fresh um, basil, basil that they cut on top on of there. there. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and try this out. Great. Thin crust pizza. You can taste the smokiness. I think that's like a smoked Gouda. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Ah, interesting. You can taste the smokiness of that cheese, and this cheese, this pizza, this slice doesn't have any meat to it. it has all the flavors there. Great sauce. Great cheese flavor. The basil doesn't overwhelm the slice at all this will go down easy look how thin two bites and i'm already almost halfway done wow um, this is a good one yeah i never had a smoked gouda on a pizza mm. so that, that looks interesting highly recommended so far these slices are a winner How do you like that, Mona Lisa? That's kind of cool. This is like a neon studio where you can make your own neon. Oh, really? Like your own neon shop. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yes, it happens to be next door to our next location. Yeah, but what's really cool is just right over down this block is Prince Street. This is Wershka House, which has like some amazing brats. This is where you get your rattlesnake brat. And then where we're going for our dessert place is, it's, it's a pretty unusual spot, but it has delicious pastries. I'll just give it that. And just like that, we're here at the pie hole. Yes, right next to that neon museum is the pie hole. This is where you can get a Earl Grey, Earl Grey tea, the Earl Grey pie. Yes, they have some unusual flavors. Yes. Uh, it's, it's been a good while since we last came to pie it is, hole. It is, so uh, we have to go yeah, try it out. Interesting to see if they have any new flavors. I'm ready. Look at all the slices they, they have, have, right? Slavery and sweet slices. Yes. It's all the savory pies. But here are the regular pies right here. I'm gonna try this one now. Look at that. Right there. Look at these other flavors they have. They have, they have a cereal killer. That's crazy. And a uh, chocolate brownie. Mm -hmm. That's the Earl Grey one. Yes. We didn't get it this time, but that's what it looks like. It's pretty regular pumpkin pie, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. got the sticky toffee pudding pie and a peach pan pie. They warm this up so it's completely warm as you can see in there. There it is. We're definitely take a bite of that. But I'm gonna try the sticky toffee pudding first. Yeah, you know, go. of course we're a fan of sticky toffee we pudding. Are. We had different variations of it, so interesting to see how, how this is gonna taste. Look how delicious that looks. Wow, that looks amazing looking. We're gonna go take some pictures first. This is served cold, so this one isn't warmed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this slice. Oh, it feels a little dense. We'll see how it is. Let's go ahead and get this piece here. The, uh, the, the stick to your gut kind of a pie. Yeah, it is. Me? Yep. Taste is there. Mm -hmm. How's the denseness of it? It is very dense. Okay. Almost like, like a thick brownie kind mm -hmm. of denseness to it. Man, it's got that sticky toffee pudding flavor. Mm -hmm. Right? 
comes dense in a good way. The mm. flavor is all there, but you're gonna need a cup of coffee with this. Or tea. I got one better. Mm. A scoop of vanilla ice cream right on top. Yep, and if it's warmed up a bit, that's it. But yeah. this is served cold. Yes, but it is. The sticky toppiness is there. You can see the inside right here. All that flavor is there. That caramel drizzle. Yes. Right there. Uh, oh, yeah. How do you think about the sweetness overall? It's not as sweet as I've tasted in some sticky toffee pudding. Mm. Hi, baby, what do you think? Yeah, I think that the caramel is what kind of makes it sweet. Mm -hmm. I think the actual pie itself is not, isn't too sweet at all. Mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. Yeah. Now we're going to move on to the peach hand pie. Mm. All right, this is the peach hand pie. It is warm. Wow. You can Look see it. Wow. You can see all those crust, those uh, crystals. Mm hmm. Like nice. sugar crystals, mm -hmm. right? Nice crust. Let's go ahead and pie this out. It is served warm. Oh. The first thing I get in this hand pie is that crust. The crust is nice and flaky. I didn't taste too much of the peach in the inside though, but that crust is really good. I can definitely see the peach inside of the pie right here. So I'm gonna try to get a little piece of this. I know you mentioned it's, it's pretty hot, so. There we go. Oh, look at that. It is nice and warm. Ah, it's a peach. It's peachy. Okay. Yeah, see? Got a lot of peach filling in it. It is nice. And I would say like a sweet tartness type of peach flavor to it. But what stands out is that uh, handmade crust along with the little sugar crystals on top. So it gives it that nice balance between the, the tartness of the peach and the sweetness of the sugar that's on top. Mm -hmm. This is a good, great dessert pie. Wow. I like this one. So that was amazing pie. It was. And that little hand pie turnover, it was really good. It was, it was. And what's really cool in this little arts district is that there's so many breweries within a mile radius mm -hmm. of this. I don't think I have, I think I mentioned that before. Within a mile radius, they all open a little later. Right now it's almost two. They open at three, four, five. And what's really cool is also, you know that Truly, that hard seltzer? Yes, truly. Truly, mm -hmm. truly LA is actually in this art district. And so that opens like at five. And it's those truly hard seltzers, and I believe they even have some snacks that you can eat there too. Yeah, now what's interesting is the Trulies, it's not just the Trulies in a can yeah. they serve, it's full on cocktail. Yes, it's truly. It's yeah. uh, cocktails made with truly. Yeah, specialty ones. Yeah. So uh, maybe next time we're in the area, we'll do like a brewery and a truly tour. Yeah, I see it right in the comments below if you want to see that. Yeah. Since we had to walk back toward Prince Street, because yes. that's where we parked at. Yes. We might as well stop at Salt and Straw. They have some new dairy-free options, and so I think we're gonna get one of those, baby. Okay, we'll yeah. try it out. We'll see what uh, see what else they have in there. And it matches perfectly with our pies. Uh, your pie hole. Yeah, from pie hole. Scooping this month, if actually it says like scooping this month, is the limited edition flavors, which are all dairy-free. These sound delicious. I think we're gonna go try the bananas Foster one, huh, babe? Yeah. And uh, maybe a classic, maybe you think? I think so. That, that peanut butter looks good too. Peanut butter brittle. Yeah, peanut butter. I think I like the bananas Foster one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try that one and uh, classic flavors. Made classics. Maybe that cold brew sounds good, babe. With oh, cashew, cashew pralines. Wow. Wow. Yes. Might, ha might have to get right. those. Yeah. We got our ice cream. What's the, uh, what's the top flavor? We have two flavors. The top ah. flavor is the Dairy Free Bananas Foster. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Here Cheers, we go. Babe. Cheers. Oh, it's banana-y. Yeah. That's delicious. It is. Wow. I mean, if you didn't tell me it was dairy free, I wouldn't you even notice. You wouldn't even know. notice. I wouldn't yeah. know. I Regular think it's, ice cream. Yeah, great ice cream. Mm. Great banana flavor. Yeah. 
that ribbons of of caramel in there. Oh yeah. Look at that, nice and soft. Mm-hmm. Has does it have bits of banana? Mm -hmm. I don't think so, but it is definitely banana forward on this. It is, and it tastes like there's bits of banana in here. Yep, yep. If you're a banana lover, dairy free or not, this is delicious. It is. It is very mm. uh, refreshing. It's very creamy. Yes, it is. Oh, wow, that's good. Now, the flavor we have it. on the bottom is a cold brew. Cold brew. Uh, it was something cold brew coffee and it's uh -huh. just something else yeah Praline? i forgot something like that cold brew coffee yeah here we go babe i got it you get it Try that's that. it mm -hmm. cold brew mm, yes yeah i love that coffee flavor mm. it's almost like a like a coffee gelato now you can taste Very those smooth. pralines in them you yeah. can taste those pralines oh, oh yeah, yeah. it's yeah. delicious I, I think i like the coffee one a little bit more I think I do too. <laughs> but this banana foster is good, but I think I like the coffee one because of those pralines. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. This is really perfect. Little capper to our outing in the arts district. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, um, to our new subscribers. Mm -hmm. Um, in the video description, right. we always have the, the name and addresses of all the places we visit. Yes. Along with all of our uh, social media uh, the contacts, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like Facebook and Instagram mm -hmm. and such. So uh, all the information is always down there. Yes. And even, I know some people, I think they uh, wanted to just maybe drop us a letter or something. We have our, our mail. Yes, our mailing address, address, well. our is, mailing in address is in there too. Our mailing address is in there as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And be sure, some people have been uh, messaging us to say that they checked and they're for some reason unsubscribed so make sure you are subscribed to yeah, our channel you know that happened with youtube i say a couple of years, years ago. ago people mm -hmm. were getting accidentally uh unsubscribed for whatever reason right so if you are just double check and just mm -hmm. check your notifications mm -hmm. and stuff and otherwise for our new ones be sure to like and subscribe because we're on our way to 100k this year that's it 100K. we're gonna try mm -hmm. yeah and you definitely don't want to miss next week's episode yes i, I can't see yes. where we're going because we don't know if we're gonna make the flight. Yeah, but we're traveling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So stay tuned for that one. Yes. Uh, do you have any shout outs? On this I one? do. Let me get them ready. I'm not quite ready yet. In the meantime, you can is... watch me eat another thing of ice cream. All right. Alrighty. I got it. Oopsie, wrong one. Okay, here we go. Barbara Ann Haldren, happy birthday. Steve Lewis, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Krista, happy birthday. Dee from London, happy birthday. Oh. Sweet Pea, happy birthday. And Liz, happy birthday. All birthday shout outs this one, babe. Happy birthday to everybody. Mm -hmm. So again, stay tuned for next week's adventure. Yes. It's going to be epic. It will be. All <laughs> of our adventures are pretty epic. Yes. So until that one, we'll catch you guys on, on the next, the next one. one. Your bike. I, I was trying to get my spoon ready. Yeah. Uh -huh. Till the next one. Till the next one.